all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and liveware application and in this video we will work on adding new field uh, for status and we will also work on validation and finally we will see one segwit issue and then fix it so let's get started so first of all let's add one field over here for status which will have a drop down like this and on the drop down we will add two values one is scheduled and another is closed okay so let's do that so first of all let me go to create appointment form and then let me copy this row from here and let me paste at the end over here and let me modify it this is for status state dot status and we don't need this for is loop so let me remove it select status and the option is one is scheduled scheduled and another option is closed okay so let's indent it and let me refresh the page yes perfect so now let's make this working so first of all let me go to create the point when form component class and then let's die and dump this state okay let me change this and it is working right okay perfect so Previously we added this default value so we don't need this so let me remove it and then we uh, left for validation so let's add the validations for every field let's do validator make the validation with this data and with these rules client id is required date is also required time is required uh, not can be nullable and status is also required okay and we need to call the validate method and let's import this namespace yes and then let's try this out so if we save this form then we don't see any error messages so let's work on that part but before working on that part I see where is select status so instead of select status let's add default value as schedule so how we can do that so to do this let's do on state let's set the status default status to schedule right and if I refresh the page and now the default status is scheduled perfect so let's work on displaying those error messages over here so let's go to create a point pen form let me go to the top and over here we can do if there is an error for client id then let's display this div div with the class of 
valid feedback and inside this div display div message and we need to add another class called is invalid over here so let's do the same there is error for client id then add is invalid class and an error let's end error over here as well and error okay now let's try this yeah we see the error message perfect but here we see the client id field is required and this seems quite unreadable so let's change this validation message so to change that message let's go to create appointment form class and we can pass the third argument a four messages okay let's create another array and when client id is required let's display this message the client field is required okay press the page and save it yes perfect it is working let's do the same for appointment date and appointment time but before doing that let's indent it properly so that it will be more it will look like more readable so let's do this let's indent it perfect um, it seems more readable than before so let me save it and refresh the page again yes everything is working so let's do the same for appointment date on appointment date we are using component so so if we do if we add a class over here for is invalid or uh, let's say let's add the same like if there is error related to that then display is invalid and error and let's add another div with the class of is invalid feedback and inside this div let's display the message error message error for death and and error let me refresh the page of this box but we see this kind of weird design issue so to fix this first of all let me go to date picker component and over here let's merge that other attributes for the class merge and we want to merge the class attributes values and the default values are this one okay now let me remove it from here and paste it over here let me refresh the page and we already see this error message but this is too good because we already see this kind of error on the input so actually here this error this part is not working because we are on components so we need to do it differently so let me remove it from here and let's do control z over here and let's use this syntax this error attribute with colon on in front of it right and then calls to we can pass uh, this type of this type of syntax especially used for passing variables 
or any PHP expression. So here we will be passing a string. So we need to wrap inside of so inverted comma. Okay. If we do not wrap and just do that. And here on the dead picker component, we need to add another props for error. Okay. And let me refresh the page and we see undefined constant dead okay so we need to wrap with another single inverted comma and it is working now we are passing dead as a spring to this property and inside of that picker we are receiving those attributes as props and now either variable is available so we can now inside of this class we can do error there is error related to this particular name then add is invalid class and then end error refresh the page and click on save and it is working perfect so let's do the same for appointment time as well so let me copy this and let me go to time picker we just need to copy this part instead of class remove this extra but it comma and add another props for either okay now let's go to create a point print form and then let me copy this as well and then paste it over here error for time and we need to pass props for the error and the value is time okay now if I click on save and it is working perfect and this field is not required so we, do, we will not add validation over here but let's add validation on the status so let me copy this and go to status and after select indent it yes and if there is error for the status then display the message and on the select let's add the condition over here if there is error for status then so is invalid class and error okay so if I change this status from schedule to select status and click on save then we say this error message perfect so now let's save this with proper data and so this status is scheduled and before saving let me go to create a point pen form and let me remove this okay and then click on save seems like data got saved to our database so let's click on browse yeah so everything is working perfectly fine so now here let me show you one security issue so if I inspect over here and let me go to schedule and over here let me change this value from close to something okay so now if I select the status is closed and let's add other data as well appointment time and then click on save yes 
and let's go to the database and click on browse and here we receive another status with something this is not good because here we are just telling to select schedule at the schedule or closed status so to fix this let's go to create appointment form and over here let's add another rule the status is required and it should include IN and the values should be either scheduled or closed okay so now let's do one more time appointment date appointment time data inspect it and let's go to schedule and over here let's change this from close to let's say pending and then let's choose closed click on save now we see the selected status is invalid and data are not saved to our database perfect so I hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and I will see you on the next video.